Hey guys, so, woo, look at that, it was like a cheer move. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a quick little tutorial on this look. It's very simple. I know it kind of looks like a fall look. I don't know what happened. It wasn't supposed to, but this just kind of happened. But I must say, I really love the way that this turned out. Like, really, really love the way this turned out. I talked on Snapchat. I'm not going to spend too much time. Don't worry. But I talked on Snapchat about this eyeshadow. It's in the shade Weetness from Luxie Beauty. I will tag them down below. This eyeshadow is so good. I have a lot of shades that are like very warm, like mustardy shades, but sometimes when I put them on, they're not as bright. This is so bright. I have it all through my crease and it just blends out so easily. I'm addicted. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this eyeshadow. So this whole look kind of revolved around that one eyeshadow because I just, ugh, I love it so much. So anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on the intro. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I also used Laura's palette, which I love so much. I've used this, I think every time I've done my makeup since I got this, I have used this. Like, I can't get enough of it. It's such a good palette. So, I hope you guys like this look and enough of me rambling. Let's get started. Okay, jumping right in. So we're going to start out with eyes, which I never do, but we're going to change it up today. So I'm starting out with my Morphe Concealer in Oats, and then I'm using this new Morphe brush. I don't know the exact name of it, but I will put it down below. It is amazing for concealer. Then I'm just putting on my Smashbox 24-hour photo finish eye primer, which you guys know I use all the time, and then I set everything with my LA Girl Pro Powder. I've been trying out these powders, and so far so good. They are a little bit heavy. You have to be careful, but I do think that I like them. Then, the star of my life. This is the shade Wheatness from Luxie Beauty. Oh my god, you guys, this eyeshadow is everything. It's such a pretty, like, mustardy yellow, but I kept this in real time so you could see it blends out so easily like the formula of the powder is so like creamy and buttery and all those words but it seriously is like it blends out so easily if you're a beginner you will die for this shadow it's so easy to work with so I really went hard with that shadow I wanted it very blown out pretty dark and intense Oh, I just love this eyeshadow so stinking much. Then I took the shade Yoshi from the Laura Lee Violet Voss palette, which this shade, I mean, this step is pretty unnecessary because I end up covering it up. I was going for something different, and then I kind of changed it up. But Yoshi is a really pretty bronzy brown shade. I think it's very unique. It's really different. But like I said, this step was a little bit unnecessary. But Anyway, I kept it in so you guys could see the color. Then I took the shade Biddy. Gotta love that name, Biddy. I just think that's a hilarious name. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, not getting sidetracked, as I usually do. I'm taking Biddy on the outer part of my lid, but I end up going over my entire lid with it. It's a really rich, like coppery red shade and the light catches it and it just looks so pretty so I put that on my entire lid whole thing while looking super pissed off and I'm still just layering that on because I wanted it to be really like saturated and intense and it probably took me 20 years to do I swear it took me like four hours to film this video then I took the ColourPop liner this is just the black one um like I said I'll have everything down below I had so much fallout, not from the shadows being bad quality, but from me just being a savage. Then I took my Murad, <clears throat> excuse me, oil control mattifier, and I put this just in the spots where I get super oily. If you guys haven't seen my May favorites, I talk more about this, so I will link that down below. God, my description box is going to be popping. Then for foundation, I mixed together Too Faced Born This Way with the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. I love this combination, but I love the Soap and Glory foundation. It's so pretty. If you are a greasy little mess like I am, you guys have to try it. It's such a good foundation. And I just sped through this part because you guys have seen it so many times. But I'm just using a damp beauty blender. But my skin just looked so nice with this combination. 
Then I took my Smashbox color correcting stick in dark and I just color it on wherever my dark circles are the worst and I honestly don't even blend it out. I went right over top of it with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20. I'm back into this concealer. I haven't used it in so long but I've been using it the past few days and it's just so pretty. It just blends out nicely. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. I just really like it. It's a very good drugstore concealer if you guys are looking for a good one. So yeah, just blending. Oh my gosh, let me take a break. Whew, this old woman's about to pass out. Dang. Okay, now I'm taking my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Powder and I'm using this little e.l.f. brush. Oh, first we're having a dance break. Um, this little e.l.f. brush, I don't know what it's called, but I love it. It's like the perfect size. It's super soft. It's just a really good brush and it's e.l.f. so it's inexpensive. I feel like I'm showing you guys a ton of my favorites in this video. I got this in a set of brushes, like 10 brushes. It came in this little case. I showed it on Snapchat, but been loving it. Then I used my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger to conceal any blemishes. I don't like this concealer under my eyes, but I like it for the face. Then I'm taking the shade Bitty and I'm putting it pretty much on my entire lower lash line. I really wanted that reddish, like that coppery red shade to be nice and bright. Then I took Wheatness to blend it out because I wanted to have that same, like that mustardy shade on the lower lash line as well. I mean, I would put that shade on my entire body if I could. It's so pretty. Then I'm wetting a brush with Fix Plus and I'm going into Max Rose Pigment, which is like the perfect pigment to put over top of Biddy because they're like basically the same color, but the rose pigment is a little bit more like shimmery without being shimmery. You know what I mean? I was getting fallout everywhere, so I put my beauty blender under my eye. Look at my face right now, like seriously. Such a bitch, such a bitch. Okay, moving on. I get so sidetracked during these um, voiceovers. Then I'm taking the rose pigment. I just wanted to get a little of that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going into the shade Whiskers from Laura's palette. I was, ow, did you hear that? I just banged my elbow. Oh my God. Um, I just wanted to deepen up the outer edge and we'll do that a little bit more later as well. Then I am lining my upper lash line with, oh, uh, what's it called? Lou from Laura's palette. It's just the basic black eyeshadow. And I put a little of that on the lower lash line just to make things a little bit smokier. I kept it mostly on the outer edge there, as you can see. Oh my goodness, my ass is winded. Curling my lashes and going in with my baby, my bae, my love. The Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Oh, I can't get enough. It's so freaking good, you guys. It's so inexpensive, but it makes your lashes so long and voluminous, but it doesn't clump up. It is so good. I can't stop using it. Then I'm going in with a mixture of whiskers and bubs. They're the two like matte brown shades in the palette just to deepen things up and smoke it out. I love the way these eyes turned out. Aren't they turning out really nicely? I don't know. I'm really into warm shades right now. And then I'm taking the shade Sugar from Laura's palette. I love this color. It looks so much like MAC Nylon, which you guys know is my all-time favorite brow bone inner corner shade. Love it. It's so, so, so pretty. Then I'm going in with Urban Decay's Bronzed Bronzer. We're moving on to the face, obviously. And I'm using my NARS Eda brush to contour. I've really been loving this shade as a contour shade. It's way warmer than I would usually go for, but something in my body has been liking a very warm contour. I don't know what's up with me, but it just blends out so beautifully. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just contouring and I sped it up a little because I just think I look funny sped up and I didn't want this video to be 17 hours long. So yeah, I did take a little under my lip to kind of like plump my lip out a little bit. You know that trick. Then I took the Sweetheart Bronzer in Sweet Tea from Too Faced. This is like a shimmery, very summery bronzer. I just wanted to blend out that contour and kind of just, you know, 
give me that sheen that I love so much. Then I took Rose Champagne from Wet n Wild. Oh my god, you guys, this blush is so gorgeous. I've had it sitting here forever, and I probably have used it like one time. But after using it today, I feel like I want to use it every day. It's so pretty. Then I'm baking. I'm just using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with a damp beauty blender. And I'm just baking under my contour just to sharpen things up. And it really helps to like brighten that area, which I like. Then I'm curling my lashes again, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I'm very careful and it makes such a big difference. Then I'm taking the Violet Voss Highlighting Palette. Oh my God, you guys, this is like my favorites video, seriously. But this palette is so nice. The highlighting shades are so beautiful. They like melt into your skin. Love this palette. Look how pretty that highlight is. Like I don't even need to say anything. Look how gorgeous. It looks so pretty in person. It doesn't look fake, but it's super intense. Oh, I, couldn't, I can't say enough good things about it. Then I'm blending away the bake with my Makeup Forever. Let me see what number this brush is. 130 brush. It's my favorite powder brush ever. And, oh, now I'm doing my lips. NARS El Agua is the lip liner that I'm using. It's a really pretty, like, mauve purple shade. Haven't used it in so long, but it's a really, really nice lip liner. Then I'm going in with, <clears throat> excuse me, ABH Craft lipstick or liquid lipstick. I wanted something kind of pink. And after doing this, I loved it. But in my head, I was picturing like brighter pink, but I don't know. I feel like this look was kind of fall appropriate, but I don't care. I still love the way it turned out. So I took Craft everywhere and then I went in with the shade unicorn and I just put it on my lower lip in the center and I blended it out with a little lip brush and it just it didn't really make it ombre but it just made that like lower lip area kind of pop it looked really pretty then I took um the Jouer lip topper in why is the name not in my head. Hang on, here it is. Skinny dip. Oh my goodness. And I took the tiniest bit of this and as you can see, just like tapped it in with my finger and it added the coolest like glittery touch. And then I even took a little highlighter because I have issues. Then I topped everything with Scandinavia setting spray and we are done. I survived the voiceover. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love you guys so much and I will see you all next time. Bye! Like, would anyone even think that that was okay? I, I mean, maybe they do. Who am I? Who am I to judge? You think filming? I swear it took me like four hours to film this. Look, I don't know why it took me so long. Tolka, you're off your game, girl. But yeah, I think I'll look something up. Do, do, do. Ooh, thumbnail. I've been liking a warm contour. I know some people say that's like so against the rules. I think they can stick the rules up their ass. Why am I air quoting everything? What is wrong with you and your warm ass contour? This lip is slaying. Excuse me, I almost just spit all over the place. Like, God. You can dress her up, but you can't take her out. Because she's a trash bag. But everything. Why do my hands look so big right now? You look like huge man paws. Woke up in Egyptian. My crotch is totally asleep. I didn't even know that your crotch could fall asleep. Like, oh, most people are like, oh, my leg fell asleep. My arm's asleep. No, excuse me. My entire vaginal area is totally numb. Can someone assist me?